everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a holiday. I decided to have a productive day in my life and bring you guys along with me. Today I don't have anywhere I need to be and I don't have classes or college. So I'll be doing many tasks and stuff I need to do that I have been putting away for some time. So before I start my day, I want to make sure I put all the tasks I need to do down on a paper and also the things I want to accomplish today. So let's start off by planning what I have to do. So my list doesn't have a lot of things, but that's basically it. I need to wash my comforter, which I am already doing. I have to change my bed sheets, clean and organize my room, wash my helmet, clean my motorcycle, wash my shoes and bras, and also study thermodynamics. This one is because I have an exam next week and I want to make sure I am ready for it. One thing that I forgot to mention is the time. So it's currently 10.10 right now and I'm gonna go ahead and finish all my work I think by 3 o'clock. The first thing I decided to do was to change my bed sheets. I usually change them every week or every two weeks depending on how dirty I think they are. And my cat actually came up and helped me with this. She just wanted to be under the blanket but obviously I didn't want that. She was not mad or anything, she was just a little bit playful. And I also decided to play a little bit with her because she was being so cuddly and so cute, I just had to spend a little bit with her. I then moved on to my vanity and I just cleaned off the top of the table and put everything into the drawers. And of course everyone has a mass chair, which is usually the chair I put my clothes in. It's usually not like that actually, I'm pretty good at putting everything back into the wardrobe and into the drawers. But for that week, I didn't do that. So I just had, had to make sure that everything was in place, everything was on the hangers or in the drawers. And my room actually had a lot of clothes lying around, not only on my chair, but also on my desk and on my desk chair. So I had to get, get everything that was around and put it back into the wardrobe. I then moved on to cleaning and organizing my desk, which is the area that's, that I spend most time, especially in this end of, of the semester because I am studying quite a lot. So it's usually messy like that because a lot of books and notes are lying around, but I al always try to organize it before the night comes. And again, this is my cat. She was here for the whole video and she was actually just watching me clean everything. I then moved on to washing everything I needed to wash. So first I needed to get my helmet, all the parts of my helmet out so I could wash them. And this part is very easy. It's very easy to detach and put back all the parts. And I also had to make sure the camera was not in there anymore. I then grabbed my shoes and also tried to keep the things that were already in the drawers more organized than before. For washing everything, I first used some co coconut soap and as you can see my gloves were absolutely disgusting and that's because I had I made a trip to Argentina by bike. It was like a 18 days trip and I used those gloves and I never washed it after. I think actually I only washed this, these gloves once in my whole life and I bought them in 2013. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, but look how much better it looks. It's actually pink now. Anyway, after it fell off my bike, it also got a lot dirtier because it kind of scratched onto the asphalt, so it got a lot of dirt into it and it was not smelling very good, so I had to wash it anyway, especially because I put them in my helmet when I am walking around college, so the smell spreads into the helmet, which then spreads into my hair, so it's just disgusting, I had to wash it anyway. 
And after that I actually put some soap that I use on the washing machine and then put everything there and I let it stay for like an hour so it could really get cleaned and the smell would go away. I also washed the outside of my helmet because it was dirty, it had some blue from, from stickers that I used to have on the helmet and it was just a little bit dirty and I wanted to make sure that since I was washing the inside I would wash the outside as well. I wasn't really feeling like washing anything after that but I moved on, in, on into my shoes but instead of washing the three of them I decided just to wash the two of them because then I would have a shoe to wear in case I needed it and you can see the shoe itself is not very dirty but the cords are li a little bit dirty and that's why I had to wash it. In order for everything to dry faster, I actually put it outside on the window so we get some wind and also some sun. However, my gloves are made of leather, so putting it on the wind and into the sun was not a good idea because it dried off and it kind of got much smaller than before. It still fits me, but it got smaller. Anyway, by that time, my comforter was already cleaned and washed and so I just decided to go ahead and put it to dry and I kind of struggled with that a little bit after, uh, and then I could finally put it in place. I also put my bed sheets and some other bed sheets to wash. 12 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm already a bit tired and I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat for a little bit and then I'll finish up whatever I need to do. So yeah, I think it's going pretty well, but I feel like I'm gonna wear myself out by doing so much. My hands are already tired. It's not too bad, but again, I'll probably feel lazy after. Anyway, let's go eat. So guys, this is my meal for today. I have some rice, some uh, spinach, and this green little thing that I don't know the name in English and then I have some red meat and I also made an omelette and I know it's a very big plate of food but I usually eat a lot during lunch and then I don't eat as much during the afternoon or during dinner so I just like to make sure that I have a really nice uh, amount of food during the day By the time I finished my lunch, the bed sheets were already cleaned, so I just went ahead and put them to dry. And as always, my cat was there with me, waiting for me to finish, and then I could cuddle with her. And then I went ahead and put my comforter back into my bed, which, which is where it belongs. And also enjoyed my the company of my cat who was very again cuddly and just felt like being with me for the whole day going after me and just checking out what I was doing she is just such a sweet cat one thing I have been putting away for a long time is doing this uh, fixing this curtain so it's not as long as it originally was because it bothers me that it just stays there on the ground so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know fix it and let's see how it goes I have to say that getting the curtains out of my windows was the easiest part by far like I just had to get a stair some stairs and then go ahead and 
take them out. Of course, my cat was also over there waiting for me to just grab her and cuddle with her. But again, I didn't have time for that at the moment. And I, I actually struggled a lot with the machine I was using because even though I took textiles class during school, I didn't remember a lot because it was back in 2013. And I always forget how to set up this machine. Anyway, after some struggling and after calling my mom to ask how I would do it properly because it was not working, I finally got it to work and just went ahead and fixed my curtains because they were a bit too long for my windows and they were just looking very messy and I didn't like them. By the time I finished, it was already night and I felt very accomplished because this was something I didn't want to do for the longest time and I actually needed to do it because it was just bothering me so much. So I was very happy at the end. All the clothes that I took off uh, off of the hanger that were drying I actually had to make sure I put them away so that's what I did after by that time my pillow covers were also dried and washed so I just put them back in place and finally the last thing I did was to edit this very on video and I did that for quite a, quite a while but this video was only finished by today which is Sunday because I was lazy and didn't record the voiceover but now we are here and I'm doing it anyway guys this was my productive day I hope it was nice to watch and if you guys like this type of videos just comment down below and leave your like so I'll do more of them because I actually need quite a lot of productive productive days to finish my tasks. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.